Hi again then guys and welcome to another instalment of the news roundup on the channel and this time this bit of news or actually bits of news kind of span between the real world and Gran Turismo and it's news that both dropped uh, at the end of last week basically and they both involve Scuderia Cameron Glickenhaus, or SCG, a company which some of you might not be familiar with. They're a relative newcomer when it comes to building their own cars, especially in the supercar or hypercar world, and they tend to be more of a racing-based company, kind of like how Ferrari was originally, and they do actually have some connections to Ferrari originally as well. For instance, the Ferrari P45 by Pininfarina was actually built and commissioned by Glickenhaus himself. So that connection goes way back to as far as that car in, what was it, like 2006, I think, something like that. Now, the news that's come out about them, as I said, spans the real world and the game, because a few days ago they announced the look of their hypercar, which would be running in Le Mans, under the new regulations. That looks pretty cool, kind of looks a, a little bit like a Ferrari F50, but modernised with, of course, their own distinctive style. One of the most distinctive things about Glickenhaus cars is the back end usually has a kind of Bugatti-style horseshoe grille shape on the back, which is one of their main features. But as far as how that ties into Gran Turismo, they have been, it would seem, in talks with Polyphony, or at least representatives for them, as far as being in the Gran Turismo franchise. And the reason why I haven't done this news earlier on the channel is because initially, to be honest, I wasn't going to cover it at all. It's a very basic news piece, which is mostly speculation at this point, very little concrete to go on, but the fact that it's two bits of news in one kind of made me do it. Now, as far as what they've actually said... They were quoted as saying, I believe on Twitter, if I recall correctly, that they would join Gran Turismo basically when the offer of price was right. So they're taking a very similar stance to Lotus in that regard. And of course, before we saw that with Lotus and with Spa, obviously they have come to an agreement with Spa because it's coming to the game. Lotus is still open-ended at this point. And when it comes to Glickenhaus, of course, they're going to be in that same boat as Lotus, because like Lotus, they're a very small brand. They don't have the history of a brand like Lotus. They're a very recent newcomer, as I said, to the game, kind of like Gumper, or Koenigsegg, or Pagani. But some of those, of course, are in Gran Turismo. Pagani, for instance. Now, whether or not this will happen is yet to be seen. But it is an interesting bit of news, and it's not the first time I've almost discussed Glickenhaus, actually, when it comes to Gran Turismo, because I believe a couple of months ago now, somebody actually alerted me to a background image of a Glickenhaus 003C, or Competizione, which is the racing version, bright yellow, you'll see some images of it in this video. It's pretty much the most famous car that they've built, and the S version, the Stradale, is the road car, which you can pretty easily tell as well, that's the one that doesn't have a livery on it. That car appeared in the background of some of the images from a Nations Cup event, and some people were saying, oh, are these actually in-game images? Because the Scapes locations look very realistic these days. But it turned out it was just an image from an actual race, not an in-game race. So that was almost a news piece a while back. This time, though, it's a bit more substantial. So the long and the short of it is don't get your hopes up too much. But what we can take from this in a concrete sense is that they have most definitely, based on their words, been in discussions with Polyphony. And that's better than nothing at this point, especially for a smaller brand. But that is it as far as this brief update goes, both for the real world in Le Mans, and it'll be interesting to see them going up against companies like Aston Martin, etc., and in the game as well, with their cars potentially being folded into Gran Turismo. But of course, if you want to keep up with other automotive news in the real world, and of course in Gran Turismo, leaks, silhouettes, confirmations, teasers, all that kind of stuff, then of course stick around here on the channel, and as always, I would recommend joining the Discord server for this channel, which you can do by clicking the link down below. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.